Hey guys. Focus. Focus. Hey guys. We're going to draw a Campbell soup can like Andy Warhol did. So, we're going to try to make it big. Fill up the paper. Um, later, we'll try to make more than one and do different colors. But to start to practice drawing your can and make it look 3D, we're going to just draw one. So, first step is we're going to make the big oval on top. Okay? So you can see it's a very skinny oval and it makes the top of the can. So way at the top of your paper, make a skinny oval. Okay. Now from the sides of the oval, you're going to go straight down. So you have to go all the way to the side and then pull your pencil straight down on both sides. Okay, now to make sure it looks like a 3D can, it's very important that you don't make this a straight line. This line needs to be curved, just like our oval is curved. Okay, so you go over here and you make a curve. Okay, so now I've got the outline of a can. Now, there's lots of different kinds of cans. Andy Warhol did Campbell soup cans, so we're going to try to draw Campbell's. So we're going to have to try to draw the logo. This says Campbell's. We're going to have to try to write the words. This says condensed black bean soup. Now there's a lot of different kinds of soup. Um, these ones say tomato. So we can pick what kind of soup, but we everyone's going to do the Campbell's condensed uh, and then the kind of soup, it has this very recognizable red and white with a little circle. Okay, so to start, make sure we know where everything's going. I'm going to put the circle in the middle. So start with the circle. And now we know how much room we have for the words up here and the words down there. Then you're going to put the line, and it's curved just like the oval, just like the bottom. So you start over here, you start your curved line. Should you go through the circle? No. So you're going to go skip to the other side, and then curve it up. Okay, right now it looks kind of like a canned Pokeball, <laughs> but it's going to look like a can of soup after we add the details. Okay, so... Next, we can start making the top of the can. See how it's got these lines inside, make it look more realistic. So inside the top of the can, we're gonna put another oval that fits right inside. Okay. And we're gonna put a curve. And one more curve. Right now, so it kind of looks like a 3D can now on the top. Now we're going to start trying to do the words. If you have trouble with the words, it's okay. It's very tricky. You're just going to do your best. And if it turns out not quite right, that's okay. So to do the words, you can see this is a very fancy C. This is kind of cursive writing. Um, so this C loops around. It looks a little bit like a, a little E, but it's actually a big C. Okay, so what we're going to do for that is we'll make this little teardrop loop first. So come to the side and make a little teardrop. Okay, so now that we have that inside, we can make the big loop on the outside. After you do that, you're going to go loop. Okay. Now over here, there's a little tail that sticks out. So we're going to make the little tail. And then it's pretty easy, we just got to make the bottom of the C, which is a loop. So you go down, curl up and around, and then you go back and do it again. And then you've got a C. Very fancy C. Okay. 
Now to make the A, we're going to make a big loop and we're going to make an oval inside. Okay, then we're going to make a little rectangle here, but we're going to stop. Then we're going to connect the A to the M, because like I said, it's kind of cursive. So you're going to connect this over here. And go up, make another rectangle. We're going to go bump, bump. Now as you're doing this, if you like run out of space because you're making it too big, it's okay. Just stop wherever you get and see how it looks. We're just practicing. Okay, so you went bump, bump. Now we're going to make a rectangle down here. We're going to go bump up to match that bump and then down. Another rectangle. Bump up and down. Okay, so now this needs to come down and meet that one. And we've got an M. And then we make a little tail that connects to the P. Connect it there. Alright, the P is going to have a big rectangle, so it goes up and it goes down. It's going to come around this way and around that way with an oval inside. Pretty close to a regular P. Alright, now this B, this B is a cursive one, so it's got a loop on the top and a big loop on the bottom. So let's see, what we'll do is we'll make a little stick to connect to it, like right there. Then we'll make a loop on top with a little oval inside. Then we'll make a loop on bottom with an oval inside. And that's going to be our B. Finish it there. Okay. Almost done. Then we're going to do the E here. So it connects to the B. It's got a little stick right there. Then it's got a loop on top with a little oval in it. And then it's got a sideways rectangle. So look, rectangle on the side. And then the little loop goes down this way, all the way. Hoo wee! All right, then the L's are pretty easy. It's just a rectangle up here, a little tail, a rectangle up there, a little tail. Then we're gonna put a little comma. So that's just an oval. And then a cursive S, so that's going to go up, make a little triangle pyramid looking thing here, uh, but it's flat on top. And then make a little teardrop, and then bump, little bump, there we go. Whew. I think that was probably the trickiest part. So then you're going to write the rest of the words right here you're going to write condensed try to make it so it fits in the middle so you see the word the letters d e n end up right above the circle it's probably a good idea to figure out which letters in the middle and then write that one first so e goes right here so right here E, and they're kind of blocky letters. Then to the left of the E, there's a D. And then to the right, there's an N. Okay, there's an N on this side. So I'm going back and forth. 
to make it even. Okay, then on this side there's an S. Back over here to an O. Back over here to an E. Back over here to a C. And then all the way, the final letter is a D. So you wrote the word condensed. It says Campbell's condensed. Whew, very fancy. I'm not going to make you try and draw the fancy picture inside there. It's like a person sitting on a throne and there's stuff going on. It's kind of confusing. So we'll just leave that as a circle and we'll color it gold. But we got to write the kind of soup and the word soup and add the little details. Um, so you could either write tomato, which is T-O-M-A-T-O. -O. There. Or this big one says black bean, so I will do black bean. B L A C K B E A in and then soup is written kind of fancy so I'm we're just gonna try to make it block letters um, one little trick to doing a block letter is you write a regular letter so I'll write the S real light and then you kind of put like a bubble around it but on the ends it's flat so I'm gonna put a little flat stick on the end I'm going to make a little bubble. goes around the S and around it this way. So then if I color that in, we'll see it makes a block letter. Let's do it on the O. Well, the O doesn't have any parts for me to put a stick, so I'm just going to make it a bubble around both sides of the O. This O. Okay, I'll do the U. Oh, U has in, so I'm put a little stick on each end. Then connect it with a bubble. Alright, and then I'm going to do a P. Okay, now P only has a stick down here. So inside here, I'm going to put a little bubble. And around the outside, put a bubble. Color that in. There we go, I got some black letters for the word soup. Okay, last little detail, I'm going to put a curve line here. See how it's got a red curve line? I'm going to put a curve line up here. That'll be the gold curve line. And then on the bar of the curve line, there's some fleur-de-lis. So I'm going to put me some little fleur-de-lis by making a line like that. Curve line that. Curve line that way. And a little dash. I'm going to do that a few times. Because there's a little pattern on the bottom. Some over here too. All right. So there is our Campbell's soup can based on Andy Warhol's soup cans. Okay, guys, this was just practice. I know words are really, really hard to do. So thank you for trying your very best.